players are taking the field for yet another day of training camp and fans are finding their spots on the hill to take in all the action. Natalie McCann and uh, Fox 5 Sports DJ Shockley are in Flowery Branch with a look at how practice is going. Good morning, guys. Hey, Elise. Good morning to you. Yes. Hey, Elise. It's a great morning out here already. It is. It is definitely steamy. It's hot. I, I don't know if it's hotter yesterday or today, but either way, uh, we're all right because we got these beautiful fans that you brought out here. Always. But it is day three of training camp. We're excited for. They're starting to ramp up some of the things yeah. they're doing in practice. The guys are behind. You can see they're just about to warm up, get ready for practice, and get going. Okay, so DJ, let's talk a little bit about this defense. It seems like in the off season there was a lot of focus by the Falcons. I mean, yeah. a focus on this area in particular. And we have a new vet, yeah. defense, new defensive coordinator, yeah. and a whole lot of new guys. Yeah, rightfully so. And this is a defense over the last couple of years, as we know, has has gotten better last year. But this also is a defense that needed to upgrade their roster, and they did that. They did a really great job of going out and getting some experienced guys like Calais Campbell. They went and. Stole a couple guys from New Orleans and Kay Nellis and David Onyemata. I mean, there are a couple guys on this defense that are going to look good. Then you talk about the back end. You got Jesse Bates, another veteran guy they got from Cincinnati who's used to winning. So adding those different guys to this core of guys with Grady to come along with it, I think it's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be a, a really cool, uh, I think, defense to, to really watch this season. The fans should be excited to watch them. I had a chance to talk to Grady yesterday, and I asked him about that particular thing. What about these? new additions to this defense that you're liking so far? I'm excited to see these guys, you know, come in and make big impact for us because, um, you know, and it's everybody such a great compliment to the other yeah. counterpart. You understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited about that. And uh, you can see it already in the work. But, um, you know, time to tell, but we got to spend more time grinding day in and day out. And there's some other guys that came to the team as well that's going to make a big impact. Yeah. So it's going to be, like Grady just mentioned, there's a bunch of guys that are going to add to the fray. But adding those veteran guys, a guy in Calais Campbell who's been around for his 16th season this year, it's going to be fun to see how they gel and come together. It's only day three, but you can tell already that the defense has won the first couple of days of training camp. And we'll see if the offense can come around later. And, and Grady's going into his ninth year ninth here. Year. I mean, talk a little bit about his mindset. I feel like that's what sets him apart. He seems like a guy who's always just constantly yeah. learning. It, it, well, the great thing you talk about is his mindset because he talks about in his ninth year, he continues to have to learn different things to continue to get better, which is also big. A guy who's been around that long understands that I just can't sit on my laurels and say, all right, I've been doing it for eight years. I know what it takes. Right. He continues to say I can get better each and every year. Okay, well, we want to check in with Fox 5 Sports, Victor Prieto, who's out there with fans this morning. Victor, good morning. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, DJ. Out here on the field, they just let us in. Practice is about to start. And you see out here on the hill, players, we got Richie Grant. We got the secondary coming in. I mean, players warming up here, um, getting ready for practice. You see uh, Jalen Hawkins, Richie Grant, guys like that. Hawkins actually right now, number 32, he's been the star of training camp so far. He's had two interceptions in uh, day one and two. And we're talking to Richie Grant this week. He was saying that the way this team has been gelling together, the way they've been coming together, has uh, it's been nice forming a lot of the new veterans with the young guys. Definitely got um, some new faces, but we brought in a lot of key guys. Um, we're a young group, but it's, it's like young vets. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody got playing experience. And then, bro, we just compete, man. Like, this group, we just rowdy. We compete. We got a good chemistry going right now. We've been getting our hands on some balls. Once you have that trust, everybody can really play off each other, feed off each other, the energy up, and we're doing good. Live back here out on the field at Flowery Branch. Looking at the receivers here, just separate. There's Drake London. And you know, Richie Grant talking to him. This team, you can tell there's hope, optimism around him. This is a team that hasn't been over 500, DJ Natalie, since 2018. It's been five years. It's the longest streak in the NFL. So this hope that's now entering year three of this new regime with Arthur Smith, Terry Fonino, you can tell there's a lot of hope and optimism. And actually, our uh, Miles Garrett Fox reporter yesterday I was talking with Richie Grant, asked him if you could describe this Falcon secondary kind of in one phrase, how would you do it? And he said, to paraphrase a little, because he may have said some words that we can't really repeat on television. He said, G-A-T-A, <laughs> we're going to get after that. Blank. You can you can fill in the rest. But, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, Richie Grant, he had a great end of the season last year, guys. Um, I mean, they have A.J. Terrell brought in Jesse Bates from free agency. They got some dogs in the secondary, guys. 
Absolutely, Victor. And pieces are what you need. And uh, I'm glad you just left the last part off. GHA, <laughs> we all get what the end part is. I heard Fill that plenty of times. Yeah, Fill for sure. But I, I think Victor brings up a great point. A lot of key pieces and a lot of key spots. And in football, we always talk about the three levels. You got the, the defensive line, the linebackers, and the secondary. They have veterans in all three of those levels, which is going to make this team a lot better on defense. We look forward to them GAT and some people this season. Yeah, and did Grady talk about, you know, taking his experience and, and helping others? Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's, a, he's a, like you mentioned, nine years in the game yeah. now. He has no choice but to bring along the Taquan Grahams of the yeah. world, the, the Zach Harrisons of the younger guys who are coming in now. So he definitely has that leadership mentorship role now along with Calais Campbell who's been around 16 years so but Grady is definitely that guy around here and definitely the face of this defense. It's gonna be an exciting team to watch. Elise we're gonna send it back to you. Nice okay I gotta know I mean are the fans doing anything for y'all out there like the fans in front of you not the people <sighs> fans like are they are they helping a little? My Elise name. Elise look at my <laughs> face here. Look at my face. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Feels grand. I'm glad y'all are doing uh. a fantastic job. Enjoy <laughs> that cool air. All right, guys, thank you.